Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to drill an array of holes in this piece of plywood. We've got about 120 holes to drill. It's quarter inch plywood. We're going to drill them using the shape Oco. The software we're going to use to create the tool path <clears throat> excuse me, is Carbide Create. Carbide Create is Carbide 3D's free design software. Now, I'm not affiliated with them, and this is not a sponsored video. I just thought I would use the software to try and drill some holes. Carbide Create doesn't have a function that drills. We're actually going to trick it into drilling 120 holes. Um, so this is more of a workaround than anything. Um, I've created this array of holes in Aspire, a different software, because I don't use Carbide Create much. Um, so what we need to do, let me tell you how we're going to pull this off. Um, if you click on this, we need to ungroup. All right. So if we look at one of these, these holes are supposed to be eighth inch holes. To trick Carbide Create into drilling these holes, I made them 0.126. I made them one one thousandths bigger than an eighth inch. Why is that relevant? Well, because we are going to then select all our holes, go up to the tool path, go to contour. Now we're going to create the drilling tool path. We need to select a bit the size of the drill bit we're using. We're using an eighth inch drill bit, so I have selected here an eighth inch end mill. Uh, we need to unclick the set speeds automatically. This is defaulted every time you pick any one of their bits from the drop down library. Anytime you pick one of their bits, this is always set because they set all these parameters for you automatically. They're all wrong. <laughs> you got to adjust them every time. Uh, so click that off. Depth per pass. We're going to go at a 0.14 depth of pass. Step over doesn't really matter in this situation. Again, we're only talking that bit is going to plunge down into our wood straight down the bits an eighth inch the hole is only one one thousandths bigger so carbide create knows that it's only got a step over that one one thousandths of an inch to complete that hole so it's basically going to plunge in you won't even see it step over and it's going to pull back out and our hole is going to be drilled it's going to be magical <laughs> all right rpm spindle speed this is what i mean by how this stuff's not accurate um, when this was clicked to set speeds automatically, they set our spindle speed at 3,750 RPMs. Uh, I don't even know of a router that goes down that low. I have a, a spindle, a 2.2 kilowatt spindle that doesn't go that low. So if you use software, you always got to change these parameters. Now I'm going to go with 18,000 RPMs. That's very fast for a drill bit and that's why it's difficult to drill with the shape oco because drill bits weren't meant to be spun that fast but if you're a owner of a dewalt router that, that's as slow as you can go is 18,000. now i know we can do it i've done it before we're going to do it again. The speed, uh, I'm sorry, feed rate doesn't really matter. What does matter is the plunge rate. Because like I keep saying, this bit is going to plunge into the wood just like a drill press, just like you pull down and drill into your piece. That's what plunging is going to do for us. And we're going to set that at 60 inches a minute. And I'm willing to bet even that's going to be too slow. So we've set up our, our tool, right? We can click OK. Now it wants to know our cutting depths. We're going to start at zero, top of the board, and we're going to cut to a depth. I'm actually going to make this deeper than the quarter inch thickness of the plywood because drill bits have an angle in the end of them, uh, a 
130 degree angle, some are 90. Um, so you have to go deeper to drill all the way through. So I'm gonna set this at 2.8. And uh, as you can see, I have a sacrificial board on there, so I'm not worried about drilling beyond the quarter inch plywood. So we'll set that at 0.28. Now, what kind of tool path are we gonna pick? Well, we're gonna pick a pocket. We're gonna name it. Just gonna call it drill. We'll click OK. Now you see here, it's made our tool path. And it even gives us an estimate of how long it's gonna take to um, do this operation. Three minutes. Three minutes to drill 120 holes in quarter inch plywood. We're off and running. We can even simulate that carbide creates got a little simulation show going on here there you have it so all we have to do now is save our g code now i have a folder called g code you have to name it again i don't understand this neither but we'll call it drill now, I've already saved this toolpath once. That's why it exists. Yes, we want to replace it. Now, from here, we're going to go over to Carbide Motion, which is also free software that Carbide 3D offers. All right, now we're in Carbide Motion. Now, I've already connected my machine. Um, I've actually already zeroed my machine. If we go Rapid Position current x y you will see that i have already zeroed my x and my y to the center of my stock right because that's where we told carbide create we were going to put zero you always have to give it a zero point now the next thing we have to do is we have to zero out the z level and to do that i'm going to bring in my probe this is also from Carbide. Handy little thing to have. If you don't have one, I don't know. I highly recommend it. Now to probe, we do this in jog. You come over to the probe. Probe height for the Z. Those are your other options. We're going to go with Z. We're going to begin probe. That was so quick, you missed it. We're going to do it again. So it's going to come down. It touches that bit off to the top. And then, oh, sorry about that. And then it retracts so you can have enough room to pull it out. So now we've zeroed out our X, Y, and Z. Um, Z has retracted to a height of 31 millimeters to allow you to, like I say, remove your probe and begin your program. So we get out of all this. We're done. We're done. We need to load the program. So you need to find the folder that you put it into. YouTube. Uh, come down to drill is what we're looking for. Drill.nc where it's gonna to go to. Now at this point is when you wanna start your router. I have a spindle, so I have to give it an M3 command with a speed of 18,000, oh, 18, right? And that will start my spindle. I'm gonna run it without the dust shield so that we can watch it drill these holes. Now, you should really warm up your spindle every day before you make any series of cuts. My spindle's been warmed up. I warmed it up before I started the video, so we're good to go. Uh, we're going to come over to... We'll come over to Run. Click on Run, and you can see our file is there, drill.nc. tells us how many lines of code we have. 1,873 lines of code to drill 120 holes uh, and we're good to go we're ready uh, we're gonna press start and watch it drill
Now, right now, it's asking me for a tool change. It's saying tool change required. Let me show you this. This is something that Carbide Create um, added in. And we've already got our bit in this. So we're just going to click continue. And as you can see right now, we're drilling at 60 inches a minute. And Carbide Create thought it was doing a pocket. You can't, you can't tell the, the board's jumping up and down a little bit because I only have four little brads on the outside. But it's tearing through those holes. Now the plan is, like I said, this is a pin board for my laser engraver. The plan is to put a, put a bunch of uh, these rivets in there. They have an eighth inch shank down here. You know what? I think I'm even going to up the rate on this. Right now I'm just running at 100%, which is the 60 uh, inches per minute that we put in there. I'm going to increase that feed rate. Now that's increased by 50%. So we're running at 90 inches a minute right now. Drilling these holes. And still it sounds good. Sounds so good, I'm going to increase that feed to 200%, which means we're now running at 120 inches a minute. there you have it 120 holes in under three minutes pin nice snug fit that is a success thank you for tuning in and stay dusty